My name is Ryan Slider, and the name of my company is Slide Runner. And uh, what we do is we aim to create untold stories, put them in the media form, whether it's graphic novel script or in the images that way, and, and uh, really try to inspire people through that type of art. Where did you find your inspiration? My inspiration came from just a lifelong passion for writing. Even as a young kid, I enjoyed writing and um, really started to hone the skills of how to write once I became an adult and was done being an athlete and things like that. So my inspiration just came from writing stories and, uh, and then seeing a few of the stories go past just the script. Being a writer, where are you in your story arc currently as an entrepreneur? Uh, I would say uh, almost past the beginning. <laughs> uh, I've taken care of a lot of things that I learned in the last couple of years mm -hmm. from the, really the business side of, of this profession. Entrepreneurial life is really important for longevity. I learned a lot, but most importantly, I tried to surround myself with people that were very good at that aspect of things. So I think just having a long-term vision really helped too. So I, I think, like I said, I'm, I'm just getting past the beginning stage. What's it like being an entrepreneur in Portland? I think it's exciting. It's definitely, if you look at it a certain way, it could be daunting or it can be a huge opportunity. And I choose to look at the opportunity side of it based on a lot of successes and failures that I've had before I started doing this. And uh, it's a lot of fun to, to live in that way, so to speak, because you're trying something that not a lot of people will do. Um, and uh, a lot of people will just look and say that's not going to work and so to have something that's working and doing well it's really it's exciting but motivating and then getting to the stage now where we're able to inspire people not just here in Portland but in other countries as well uh, through some of our stories it's really exciting to be doing that from here Portland you know yeah. of, of definitely not quite on the grid of entertainment in some ways but but uh, you know it's, it's a great place to live and and, uh, and operate. Did you go right into entrepreneurship out of school? Were there other experiences immediately after school? Uh, after school I did and I was an athlete. I was, I was chasing that dream and did pretty well. I played overseas. My parents were entrepreneurs, started their own business and I saw that so I talked with them a lot once I was done with school about how they did it, why were they successful and uh, you know what made it happen for them. When, and when were there tough times where they didn't think they were going to make it? That helped a lot having that as a foundation of knowledge and knowing that people that I'm really close to could be successful. What gave you the courage as an athlete to explore this kind of creative medium? I think um, you know my, my parents are always very encouraging and then I had uh, just people I'd met along the way that, uh, that really encouraged me here in Portland being an athlete was very close with Nike and people there they really have always been encouraging whatever I've done. Um, they were, there was a lot of people that we're thinking you're an athlete. You can't write. Uh, so that just motivated me. That encouraged me in itself. People told me I couldn't do something that I knew I could do. What's your advice to that writer who's thinking about maybe pursuing that or an entrepreneur who's, potential entrepreneur who's thinking about jumping in? What advice would you have for them? I would say to, to take the failures in stride, not let that stop you because it's going to happen a lot of times. Even the most successful people that come into something like this, it's going to happen. I'm doing some great things now, but it's mainly because of the failures I had. And so people starting out that I talk to or that we can see through this, uh, that's what I would tell them. Don't let the failure stop you and keep going, keep striving. You have a dream, it's always attainable. So um, the more failures, sometimes it's better, especially early on, because it's going to really teach you what not to do. Hi, I'm Kristen Hammond with Jones Lang LaSalle, and today we're at the offices of Little Bird in downtown Portland. We're going to go through with co-founders Michalina and Marshall Kirkpatrick and hear why this space is such a great fit for them. Hi, I'm Marshall Kirkpatrick. I'm Michalina Kirkpatrick. We are the CEO and COO of Little Bird. Little Bird helps anyone discover and engage with the most influential experts online in any market. One of the biggest things that we had to take into consideration when looking for our space is that we could bring our dogs. We actually walked away from a couple spaces because they, they didn't allow dogs in the building. I think after that, um, affordability was, was our, our next 
consideration. And so have a space where we can maximize our square footage so we can grow as much as we can while not breaking the bank is, is really important. When we got to move into our own office here for the first time, it really felt like our company was growing up. It's beautiful. We're proud of it, and we're proud to bring people over, but the biggest impact it's had has just been on how we feel about the company. We started getting to the point where we knew we were going to start needing to look for an office. I asked around, and I asked Rick to Rosie, and he said you should definitely go with Kristen, and I asked a couple other people, and they said you should go with Kristen, and so she's got a great reputation with people that I trust, and that means a lot. People might not take you seriously if it's just you and they don't know you. If they see you working with an established entity, uh, they'll take you more serious.